Today marks one year since the murder of George Floyd. His killing at the hands of law enforcement sparked an international movement and demands for change. Well, she's Matt Lapoli was in downtown Orlando tonight where a vigil was held in Floyd's memory. And we demand a change. Joining communities across the country, people in Orlando recognize the change in the past year, a shift in the conversation about racial justice and the push for police reform. after the murder of George Floyd. It's been really tough. However, the fight continues. Beside Lake Eola, just blocks from where Black Lives Matter is written in the street on the other side of the park, prayer was offered. We've seen something that I should have not seen. Along with poetry. One day my name could be at the end of a bullet. Standing between me and the grave is the officer waiting to pull it. Also read aloud were names of other men killed in encounters with law enforcement. The police is taking it into their hands to, to be the judge and jury of these people. That's why we have to help these families tell their stories. With their candles lit, the crowd that gathered stopped and bowed their heads for nine and a half minutes, the same amount of time that a knee was on George Floyd's neck. There has been no bills, there's no policies, there's nothing in place um, to protect um, the black community. And until that's done, um, we will continue to show up and show out to places like this um, because the work is not over and we will continue to keep fighting until it is. In Orlando, Matt Lapoli, West 2 News. Now, one of the people you just heard from attending the vigil tonight was civil rights activist or an attorney, Natalie Jackson. Jackson announced tonight that she will be running for Congress representing District 10. She now joins a Coe lawmaker, Randolph Bracey. That seat currently held by Representative Val Demings, who is expected to run for Senate in the next election.